Good day and welcome to our short explanation and demonstration of AMP. AMP stands for Accelerated Mobile Pages. We're going to install AMP on a WordPress site and we're going to get advertising working on it, which is really something that's relatively new and that's something that's more difficult, uh, but it's quite straightforward and easy to do now. Beyond that, let's just cover a little bit about what AMP is. AMP is the Accelerated Mobile Pages uh, project and that is from Google. And what it does is it effectively it's copying your site to Google. So Google's actually hosting it. So on the bright side, what that does is it eliminates a lot of traffic from your servers. The primary benefit of that is that it strips out a number of intense things like animations and it makes them very, very fast to load. As you have no doubt heard, if you're looking at uh, SEO, about 25, 30% of people won't wait more than six seconds for a mobile page to load. So if you don't have fast mobile pages, you're going to lose out a lot of, you're going to lose a lot of traffic. So you might think that having Google AMP would improve your search ranking. And while Google says it does not directly improve your, your page ranking, having a fast page, i.e. using AMP, will improve your page ranking. So it indirectly helps uh, quite a bit. And if you're thinking AMP isn't going to catch on, well, it's already got 25 million domains, well, closer to 30 million domains and about one and a half billion pages. Uh, and it's only been around since 2016, so it's doing just fine. The downside of AMP is, well, two things primarily. The first issue with using AMP is that you're ceding control to Google for your mobile users. It doesn't affect your uh, desktop users, but it does affect mobile users. Some people are concerned with that. I mean, how much power Google has is already, you know, in question, but it works. Uh, I've tested it. I've been using it for a few weeks now and uh, pretty happy with it. Uh, in the past, we've tried it and always had to roll back because of technical problems. But right now, it's working great. We're quite happy with it. The second drawback is, well, as we said, you it strips things out. So it strips out things like uh, animations. And some people really want those animations to work. But if you really want those animations to work, your page not gonna, isn't going to be that fast. You're not going to get the hits. So it's a catch-22. Okay, moving past that, let's just get on with it. So the first thing you want to do is bring up your WordPress page, go to plugins like we have here, and select add new in the top left. There are several different AMP plugins, including one directly from Google, well, from the AMP team. Uh, we find, however, that it's very limited. The one that we like, it's free and just works, is AMP for WP. There it is, we're going to click, going to click install now. And yes, this is going to be live on this site. We are actually going to uh, set Partisan Issues, which is one of our sites, to function with AMP. Okay, this takes a minute to complete, but let it finish, then click Activate, obviously. And you'll see on the left-hand side here, uh, AMP has been added. When it comes up, you'll see you have an easy or a full choice. We'll do the easy first, and we will go through the full in a minute. But let's go through the, the easy first. Okay, so it's asking for the website type. We're just going to go through each of these in order. So you can see here there's uh, different types. Now, this is actually a news site, but it's not a news site in the sense that we have something published every day or that we have 20 things published every day. So I'm going to leave it as a blog. It's probably the closest. Uh, the next thing is where do you need AMP? So in my case, I and I think for most people, you just want to set it to be the posts. Um, and what that will do is leave your home page and other pages just the way they are. So, uh, but the but the posts, which is really where the meat of your site probably is, will get uh, amped. Design and presentation. You can set the color to whatever you want. Uh, for the sake of argument, I'm going to set this to this purpley blue. And I also just happen to have a logo ready here. Now it says recommended size 120 by 90. I found that not to be the case. We have found that the size of 360 by 50 seems to work the best. Uh, I don't know why it says this number, but that's our experience has been that it stretches it when you do that, even if you later go into the advanced setup and make changes. So we were using 360 by 50. So I'm add logo, and upload files. There it is. Select and that's that. Analytics tracking is next. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, go grab your Google, Google Analytics code. You don't need to have this, by the way, but most people will have it. I just paste it in. Uh, if you have more than that, you can see there are lots of other 
tracking codes you can put in, but uh, I just have Google Analytics, so we'll probably click uh, that. And then privacy settings. Uh, so you'll notice that you can only have one of these. So uh, I'm in North America, so I'm going to select a cookie bar notice. Uh, if you were in Europe or you dealt primarily with Europe, you probably want to go with the general data protection, so GDPR. Uh, but I'm going to use cookies, so there we go. That's the core setup. You could leave it at this point. However, I am going to go into advertisement. This is defaulting to working with Google AdSense, but we're going to show you in a minute how to work with other things like Taboola, which is what I'm going to load in here. But let's uh, go in and say, just below the header site wide, I want to put in an AdSense ad, and I'm going to put in the uh, ad client. So you can log into your Google AdSense and pull that information up, but there's mine. Uh, this is a responsive ad unit, and I'd also like an ad below the content, paste that in, and believe it or not, you're done. Uh, at least the core. Now I'm gonna show you Taboo and a few other advanced things, but the, the hard work is done, if you wanna call it hard work. So you may ask, maybe asking yourself, well, how do I test this? Well, what you do is you bring up a new page, and you could do it on your phone, of course, uh, but uh, another thing, to, but it'll take a while for AMP to be picked up by Google, so for them to clone it, but you can force it. So I'll show you that. Go to a new tab and go to your site, Partisan issues.com. Now I'm just going to load it normally just so you can see it. And there it is. Now if you say, well, geez, what's uh, what's that going to look like on AMP? Well, uh, a couple of things you can do. The first is you can just type in slash AMP and you can do this on any page. That's what it looks like. So there's the ad that I placed. There's a uh, number of my things, my number of placements. So let's go into uh, this little interesting article. Okay, and you'll see there's the ad, scrolling down. There's the ad below the post, and we're on our way. I can click into the menus, and you say, well, the menus aren't there. That's right, because there's a little quirk you've got to clear up. Um, now, another way you could do this was to take your site, and let's bring it up in a new tab. Let's go into this article. So you see at the top here, it just added the word AMP, but you can do this on any page. So let's go back to the home page, and let's go into the economic benefits of the four day work week. They're quite surprising, by the way. Productivity actually goes up, not down. And I mean in total, not per bed, I believe. Okay, and now you can look at this and say, well, it just looks like the same old site, but look, I could add slash AMP to the end of that. And boom, there it is. And uh, to make it look a little more realistic, I could take it out here and I could squeeze it down. So it looks more like a cell phone and it will look a little more rational. <laughs> now uh, let's go through and fix the menu and a couple of other things here. So, okay, so here we are back at the AMP uh, portion and what we'll do right now is we'll add in the menu and then the second thing we will do is add in Taboola ads or any other ads, but I'm gonna add in Taboola. What you have to do is go to your menu now this is supposed to get picked up, it just doesn't seem to, but it's a two second fix. So go to appearance and menus. And you'll notice right at the very bottom, there's now this, the AMP menu. I'd also like the menu at the very bottom, by the way. So I'm gonna put it in both places. I'm going to click save menu, wait for it to finish. And now I've brought up a new tab. I'm gonna to go to partisanissues.com and I'm gonna add slash AMP to it. Now take a look, there's the menu. Okay, so that wasn't too hard to do. Let's go in and add Taboola in. I have Taboola in here for uh, uh, the general side. It's not supported by default in AMP. If you notice, you can go into advertisements and view the setup, and you'll see this upgrade for free. And upgrade for free, all it does is install an extra ad called Ads for WP. An extra add-in, I should say. Okay. Go to ad settings, you'll notice over here just adds it in when the page refreshes. So you can see there's an ad section now in here and I'm going to click, let's create a new ad. If you already had a few in here, you just like add new ad. But anyway, let's do, let's create a new ad. And you have to call it something. So I'm just gonna call this uh, Taboola one. Uh, the ad type for me is Taboola, but you can see there are lots of other ad networks in here, double click and so on and so forth. Uh, you have to put in your, in my case, my publisher ID. Uh, now this is a bit interesting and about the only tricky part of this entire thing is right here. If you use these items at the top here, this full support, 
your ads will uh, appear in the main site as well as the AMP site. And for me, I don't want that. I just want it to show up in just the AMP site. And specifically, I want it to be below the uh, content. So after a post, after somebody's wrote a post, I want them to see the ad. So there we go. And uh, then I just click publish. And that's pretty much it. Now when I go back to my AMP site, so you can see it's part of slash AMP. Uh, let me go to President Trump's approval ratings compared to the last 15 presidents. We'll scroll down here. By the way, it's quite interesting. You should take a look at this. <laughs> Bit of a surprise, at least for me. And as you can see, there's this little section labeled advertisement. And if you were to bring this up in a mobile browser, uh, you would see that the Taboola ads are in fact there. On the desktop browser, they don't show. So I'm going to go to partisanissues.com. I'm going to force it to AMP. I'm going to go down to that same article. And look, there are the Taboola ads right at the bottom, just like I asked for them. So I've gone all the way through the easy setup. Let's go through the full setup. And we'll do this very quickly because it's uh, there's lots here, but you can figure most of this out by yourself. You can see that the AMP support, it automatically flipped over to pages and homepage, and whatever. I like to turn that off. Uh, I don't know why it uh, does that, but it seems to. I also want it off pages, um, but you can change it to whatever you'd like. AMP uh, takeover, this is quite interesting. What that does, as you click on here, it uh, tells you that uh, it makes your AMP pages the default for everywhere. Uh, I'm gonna leave that off for now. Like save changes. Advertisement, it tells you to go back to the ads for WP, which is this sec section right here, which we've already handled. An SEO for search engine optimization. You can see here what it makes available and then you can snap it into your other SEO tools. Page builder. PWA is a progressive web app. We're not using that. Uh, I know it's going to catch on in the future and I'll worry about it in the future. If you want to learn more about it, you know, feel free to go dig it out, but it basically turns a web page into an app. Performance minify, you bet. Uh, I definitely want to use browser caching and I definitely want to optimize the CSS. Save those changes. Analytics, we've already been through this and you can go through and add more as we talked about structured data. I'm just going to blow through the rest of these. So you can see them. So I want to force AMP to be on. I want to change the links for searching to be uh, to AMP. And if you, you can just put your mouse over top of these and it will tell you what they do. But this is the normal stuff. I want to turn those on. There we go. E-commerce, this is your WooCommerce stuff. If you're doing that, I'm not. It's going to design. Now, this is get, this gets kind of interesting. These, uh, these guys, uh, Amp for WP, have other themes you can buy. It doesn't have to just be this one. I'm not worried about that, so I'm going to leave them alone. Header, homepage settings. And again, you're going to need to go through these on your own when you get time. We've gone over already all of the things that are really a big deal. These are extensions, things you can buy. You can see that they're $25 and $35, things like that. Uh, one of them is relating to ads. And if you buy their service, you probably wasted your money because you already have this ads add-in. So you don't need to buy this. Advanced AMP ads. So if we go into this, It'll tell you, you can get all kinds of other ads to work. And they've dropped the price, but it's just not necessary. And if you wanted to upgrade to the pro, to the pro version, which I have no use for, uh, let's see what it costs. So you can see right there, it's going to cost you a couple hundred bucks for three sites. And that's probably what most people will take. That's per year. So it's not cheap. Uh, however, I'm just using the free one and it works great. So let's just save any changes we've made. So that's it. If you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.